Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I've created this neon look, so if you want to know how I got it, keep watching. Today I'm using neon pigments for this look. This was a gift for cruelty free options, check out the description. So first off, I'm gonna prime my lids with some concealer. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C10. I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. I'm going in with the neon green pigment first using the pack 397 and I'm gonna start building the shape. I'm focusing on placement here and not on blending at this point. Right now I want maximum color payoff before I blend it out. I'm taking my time and really building that halo shape. Guys, you can call this a spotlight as well. Neon pigments just refuse to blend. I would say if you're using neon pigments, only use neon pigments. Don't try to layer them with eyeshadow. And of course, don't expect to have a beautiful, nice, seamless blend. Although I was going for that nice depth, so I didn't regret it at the end, so it's all cool. It worked out. I'm going in with the Beauty Treats Modern Mattes Palette. I'm gonna use the Moss Green shade. Guys, this is a $2 palette. As you can see, the eyeshadow is not wanting to layer well with the neon pigment. It tends to look a little patchy, but yeah, spotlight eye, need that depth. I'm using the pack 201. I'm just attempting to blend. Now I'm using the lightest green color in the palette and I'm blending things out. If you're even a little harsh with your brush, the neon pigments are just gonna go flying everywhere. So uh, you have been warned. I'm using the pack 228 to intensify the inner and outer edge. I'm also using windshield wiper movements to try and help with the blend ever so lightly. Now with a detailed paintbrush, I'm just gonna use some concealer and then I'm gonna cut my crease in a halo or spotlight shape, whatever you wanna call it. Please take your time. If you try to cut your crease five or six times, I promise you'll get it. <clears throat> Shraddha. Hey, what's up? Anyway, I'm just going back to re-intensify my inner and outer corners with the dark green. Things are really starting to come together. That depth is coming through. Then I'm using the neon green pigment to start creating the spotlight. If you find a concealer of the right consistency, then cutting your crease becomes really, really easy. In fact, if I had one of those P. Louise white bases, then the color payoff would have been so much better. And right in the center, I'm gonna use that fluorescent yellow. Just look at that color. Imagine what this would look like on top of the Makeup Revolution cut crease canvas or the P. Louise base. <laughs> I want more makeup. Okay, no, no more makeup. Anyway, along the same vein, look, I'm using black eyeliner, okay? Haven't bought anything new. And I'm just creating a graphic liner with it. Then I'm just simply following the spotlight shape to create a graphic liner effect. Also guys, are we enjoying my new background? Then I'm gonna place some rhinestones on the lid with the pack lash glue. At this point, we all know that I love adding some bling to matte looks. These rhinestones are just so beautiful and sparkly. It is such a shame that the camera doesn't do them justice. Now, by the magic of editing, you guys, this is the final look. Lashes are on. I did add some random blue liner to my waterline and a bit of eyeshadow to the lower lash line. What do you guys think? All right guys, that was it. Like, subscribe, share. Okay, thanks. Bye.